Good thing I broke out. Oh. Whew. Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com, and this is an unboxing sniff test of the Nikon Film Maker Kit. Now, the reason I'm making this video is a lot of people leave comments that are just starting out in the video world saying, Jared, what should I buy? I looked at the Sony, I looked at the Canon, I looked at the Nikon, what do you think? Well, we are using Nikon Z6s right now to record this video. We also use the Nikon Z6 out in the real world to do run and guns for real world reviews. I personally bought two of these, traded in the D850, and then bought two Z6s. Now, in the past, we have used Sony a7s and a9s to shoot videos as well, but being that I have a ton of Nikon glass and Nikon has done a fantastic job with the Z6, we're starting to use them here more than using the Sonys. Speaking of Sony, Sony doesn't offer to the best of my knowledge a filmmaker's kit, which would be an a7s III and a whole bunch of other stuff. They don't seem to offer it. And Canon, on the other hand, doesn't even have a camera worthy of a filmmaker's kit at this time because the EOS R kind of, well, it's in third place behind both the Nikon and the Sony. And that's why we're gonna unbox this filmmaker's kit right now and show you what's in the box. What's in the box? Now, in order to do this, I'm gonna actually take the box off, put it on the floor because, well, it's heavy. It's heavy and it takes up a lot of space. So let's open it down here and take out the important stuff, which is this. I'm gonna turn it upside down, which I'm not. This is what's in the box. There's actually some more stuff in the box, but let's start with this stuff at the top of the filmmaker kit. First things first, we have a Nikon Z6 mirrorless camera right here. We've taken this out into the real world, done real world reviews, like I said, and Steven is zooming in on it with a Z6 with an F to Z adapter. Speaking of F to Z adapters, this is the F to Z adapter that it comes with. In case you already have Nikon F mount lenses, this doesn't actually come with any F mount lenses. It comes with the 24, Jesus, it's really squeezed in there. This is a 24 to 70 F4. We've done reviews with this and also used it on real world reviews. Running and gunning for Steven when he was doing the real world reviews have been great with this. This is lighter, it's an F4. I wouldn't call it the most cinematic lens in the world, but for running and gunning, it definitely gets the job done. Now is a good time for me to mention that Nikon did have a filmmaker's kit for the D850 that included the 35, 18, 85, 18, I'm pretty sure, maybe even a 24. But the problem with that kit back in the day was the D850. It wasn't exactly a camera that offered you autofocus capability. So if you wanted to lock it off, it made sense. Locking off meaning you're just shooting somebody that's not moving and you get your focus locked in. Sure, that would have been fine, but this is the first time that Nikon has put out a kit which is fully usable for full-time autofocus. And that's gonna come in handy when we get to the gimbal that is at the bottom of this box. Let me jump in here real quick and say, if you'd like to purchase this kit or build your own kit, head on over to adorama.com slash fro to pick up this or anything else you're looking for for your camera bag. So what does every filmmaker need? A way to record audio. And you can do that with the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. This is what I've been using to vlog since this microphone came out. This is great for running and gunning. This is great for areas where you've got somebody giving you some dialogue from right in front of you. It's not gonna be great if somebody's at a distance and you're trying to get dialogue, but this is a fantastic uh, microphone that they include. Now, with that being said, do you know most kits that are put together by stores are shitty kits? This actually isn't a shitty kit. It comes with all of the stuff that most filmmakers are going to need or use when they're first starting out. To go along with the camera, it comes with two, count them, one, two batteries. Now these look to be authentic Nikon batteries and they better be authentic Nikon batteries because they're in the filmmaker's kit that came from Nikon. That's a call back to the time when unauthorized batteries were being sold at stores that didn't actually come from Nikon. But two batteries is better than one, especially if you're a filmmaker because you run out of battery quicker when you are shooting 
video. So we'll put those to the side. We've got a card in here that says Nikon School Online, the art of making music videos. Cool, claim your free class. If you wanna learn how to make music videos, don't look at this class. Go to fronosphoto.com slash guides and pick up the Fronos Photo Guide to Shooting Video. It's not free though, like this. Oh, something else is free is Vimeo. I'm not gonna show you the number because I don't want you to use it. Free month, maybe I'll use it. Actually, I already pay the $200 a year to have my stuff on Vimeo. To be honest with you, this is like, it's like a bonus that it comes with it for 200, that you're saving 200 bucks, except for the fact that most people just upload their stuff onto YouTube because more people are on YouTube, even though Vimeo still has a great uh, way of putting video up there and it just shows nice and clean and crisp, it's not as searchable as YouTube is. Now, a really good thing that's in the box is the Atomos Ninja 5 right here. This is your Atomos Ninja 5. We use a bunch of different Atomoses. This is actually the first time we have a Ninja 5 here in the studio. And the great thing is this does 4K 10-bit out to the Z6, which the Sony a7 III does not do. And hopefully in the future with an update, a firmware update to the Nikon Z6, you may be able to do raw recording. That's right, raw video recording out from the Z6 to this Atomos Ninja 5. Five. This is a stacked kit. It comes with a lot of stuff. There's one more thing in the styrofoam. Actually, I didn't even sniff it. Smells like BO of one of those filmmakers on an indie set, you know? Nope, it's not me. It's actually the box. It smells like one of those indie filmmakers because, you know, they've got all that hair and they sweat and they believe in natural deodorant, which is no deodorant. Anyway, what the f is this? Oh, that's right, this is the Moza Magic Arm. This is for attaching the Atomos to the gimbal that is in the bottom of the box, which I'm gonna, which I'm gonna reach for right meow. Gimbal, here we go. This is it. This is the Moza Air, is that an S or a two? That's a two. It couldn't tell if it was an S or a two, maybe because I'm not dyslexic or anything. But this is a gimbal that a lot of the filmmakers on YouTube are using to run around, put the camera on top of it, and go to town. It gives you super smooth, cinematic, and stable footage when using the Z6 or honestly any other camera that you want to put on the top of it. This is a nice kit. Remember when I said that those other kits are shitty kits. This comes with all A-level top line things that you would want as a filmmaker starting out. And Steven made me aware that there's actually something pretty cool that you can get for this for an extra 200 bucks that you can add to the lens and make it a remote follow focus. For those who don't know, when you're gimbling around and you attach that extra piece, there's actually a dial right here so that you can control the focus as you move. You are a one-man band. Let me jump in here real quick and let you know that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. If you're looking to build your very own website like I did at jaredpoland.com, go to squarespace.com slash fronosphoto to get your 14-day free trial. And if you decide that it's for you, use the code fronosphoto at checkout to get 10% off your first order. Now let's get back to the video. There are a few things that I don't like about this filmmaker kit. There's some extra money you need to spend. The Z6 does not come with an XQD card. You're gonna need to purchase an XQD card that's gonna be anywhere from 90 to 200 bucks depending on the size of the card that you go with. If you wanna use the Atomos separately out and about and not just connected to an AC power outlet, you're gonna need to pick up a battery for the Atomos. Now, luckily those batteries can range anywhere from 20, 25, up to $50, depending on the brand that you end up going with, but the extra money starts to add up. Also with the Atomos, it doesn't come with any storage. So an SSD, you're gonna have to purchase that separately, but the good news again is back in the day when I spent mm, $300 for like a 480 gigabyte SSD, that SSD is now only 60 bucks for 480 gigs or a hundred and what's it? $109, $108 if you pick up a one terabyte SSD, but it doesn't come with a dock to transfer that to your computer. You could pick that up separately. And being that I mentioned XQD cards that you have to purchase, well, you're gonna have to pick up a XQD card reader for that as as well. Here's something else that doesn't make much sense to me is they just include a 24 to 70 F4. We know with the D850 filmmaker kit, they 
put in there some prime lenses. You have a 35Z, you have a 50Z. They're not in this kit. I would have gladly spent more money to get those cinematic lenses, even though they're not really cinematic, but they're faster, they're better. They're 35.18 as well as a 50.18. It's possible that when they were thinking of putting this kit together that the those lenses weren't out or they just didn't want to spend uh, have people spend that much money but you're still going to need to pick up some extra glass if you're looking to be an actual filmmaker speaking of money now's a good time to tell you how much this kit costs it's 3800 bucks which right now includes a 200 dollars rebate that nikon is running that's at the time of this recording but they're changing that rebate all the time so it may be more it may be less it may not be there at the time that you're watching this but for 3,800 bucks, if you add up everything separately in this kit, it's 4,800 bucks. That means it's a thousand dollar difference. And I'll let you in on a little secret here. I've been buying up a lot of kits, breaking them apart and making a thousand dollars each by selling everything separate. But you could try it out, maybe it would work for you, or maybe the extra time you're spending isn't worthwhile. But I do wanna let you know that Nikon is doing a contest for filmmakers where they're gonna give away some filmmakers kits as well as a top prize of $25,000 and a second prize of $10,000 to help you buy those extra accessories. You can go over to followyourpassion.com to get all of the rules to enter that contest. But at the end of the day, 3,800 bucks, saving $1,000 when you get all of this stuff together, if you are looking to become a filmmaker, you cannot go wrong with this kit. Like I said at the beginning, there's other options. You have Sony a7 III, you have Canon EOS R. If I was going to pick up a kit today to start shooting video, because I didn't know much about it, and I knew I wanted to get into shooting movies or commercials or music videos. Nikon actually did a fantastic job this time around putting everything you're going to need, well, I can't say everything because there's all those other accessories that you still need to purchase, but putting most of the things that you need, including a very good camera that we personally use here with good autofocus into the box with all of these awesome accessories that are top notch and ready to go for your filmmaker kit. So what do you think? Would you pick one of these up? What questions do you have? Don't forget to like this video, leave some comments down below. That's where we're gonna leave it. Thank you very much for watching. Jared Poland, Photo.com. See ya.